So what's up guys? For today episode, basic grooming for your dog. Step by step tayo mga guys. So yon. I'm gonna show you and teach you how to do the basic grooming for your dog. Even kahit nasa bahay ka lang. What? You can do this. So let's go. So guys, because a lot of you is asking me to do an English vlog to reach also the international viewers, let's do this. First thing, prepare a shaver with 1mm size of blade. So shave the surface of the each ear. Just be careful. And then put a little uh, powder, it's an ear powder. And next is get an ear hair remover. Uh, this is how I clean the ear. Yeah. Also here, be careful. Uh, Next one is a pet pet. I just called it pet pet, but it's an anus. So shape be carefully. It's uh, strictly need to be very careful because this one is uh, so easy to get hurt. And then the next one is a feet. So just shape only inside of the feet. It's make uh, the pit are more uh, clean because you know the dog pits are so dirty it's really dirty so you need to shave it like that so the pit are not risk on skin problem and the proper holding of this dog is should be like this so you're not getting burdened and also the dog not get hurt Also be careful uh, because the pit a lot of teeny skin so you can also shave it it will bleed Next one is cutting nails yeah be careful also while you cutting nails because if you over cut uh, it may cause bleeding unless you have a ble stop bleeding powder actually this black dog and black uh, nails are so hard to see to distinguish the the nails and the vein unlike uh, the white nails it's so, it's so easy to recognize what until where you need to cut so this one you need to be very careful and the next one is grinding it's a sharpening of the nails because after we cut the nails it's so sharp so we need to polish the nails so and the next one is shape the belly you need to use the 2 mm of the lucky seven so because it's so soft so easy to get hurt the next one is shower first thing you need to check the temperature of the water before you put into a dog so 
it must be warm it must be warm not a hot not cold must be warm so next one uh, cover the eye don't let the shampoo come into the eye and then don't let the water come into inside of the ear so you always need to check and be careful and I usually use a twice shampoo so to make the dog so clean because sometimes one shampoo is not enough to clean them but I did not use the conditioner but you you can use the conditioner if recommended but this dog is not recommended to use the conditioner and then the next one rinse your dog very well it's highly recommended because uh, if you let the excess shampoo into the, your dog it may cause the skin problem and skin irritation or worse it will lose hair so then the next one is drying your dog always dry only the body because this one is a high uh, power blower so if our dog have the heart problem it's very dangerous for him to blow the pace so you you only need to blower him only on the body and then the next one i get the cotton and the cleaner or ear cleaner then i clean the excess powder into the ear you also need to be very careful here because you cannot go so deep it's so hurt for them and then the next one a hair dryer and comb it's a brush it's a metal brush so you need to be very careful when you while you brushing the dog because you you cannot brush the eye the nose it's so hurt for them the ear the inside of the ear it's so easy to get hurt so you need to be very careful and also the proper handling of the air dryer is like this you need to put into a uh, bit in between of your face uh, and the shoulder so it's easy for you to hold the dog and then the next one is use the medium heat because if you use the hat yeah it's so easy to to dry the dog if it's hot but when it's hot the dog get hurt the dog get easily irritated and may cause skin problem so do not do that
and then the next one uh, will cut the eye so first thing first you need to come all the, the hair before you cutting the eye and then the next you need to cut the upper hair of the nose so the eye can comes out and then you can see how long still need to cut on the eye so also you need to be very careful here because our scissor is so sharp so easily to get hurt our dog you need to be very careful huh? so guys we are ended up here thank you for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe on my youtube channel bye bye see you until my next vlog